Hi everyone, this is the weaving project I'm working on today. This is so much fun. This is a color splash clasp warp based on a pulley system. I learned this from Angela Bankson. Thank you, Angela. I want you to check this out. See how this yellow comes down here a little bit long, but then it's shorter here. Look at this black comes down here and then, ooh, hydrangea. See the different lengths of the colors look a little bit of blue and then a whole lot of green. See that? Very, very cool. So I want to show you what it looks like underneath so you can, how you achieve that. Look at that. I'm going to show you how you do this. I'm going to take a couple of these off so you can see what to do. I'll take this guy off. This is so, so cool. So cool. This guy off, this guy off. I'll leave the other guys on because you guys will get bored watching me do the same thing. Okay, these are traditional loops. I'm using 18 white, two black, two yellow, two peacock, one turquoise, two blue, three green, three hydrangea, one powder blue, one lime, and one leaf. I, You guys do whatever ones you wanna do. I always encourage you. Um, this can also be done on a pro loom if you just use 26 by 26. Okay, so how you set this up is, um, this is gonna be on the top and this is gonna be on the bottom. So this guy pull through here, this guy pull through here. The guy on the bottom goes over one peg. The guy on the top goes over two pegs. The inner guy or the guy on the bottom here goes over one peg. The guy on the bottom goes over two pegs. Look at this. So then, when you do it that way, look, it's a pulley system. You can make whatever length of whatever colors you want. <laughs> it is so cool. Oh my gosh. All right, so the next one I'm going to do is going to be, oh, let's see here peacock on the top and black on the bottom. So I'm gonna put this over here, pull the black like this, pull the peacock like this, put the lower peacock on one, and the upper one on two. Put the lower guy on one peg, the upper guy on two, and then look you guys, we. <laughs> <laughs> you can put you can pull it to whatever you want all right the next one is going to be green on top and blue on the bottom so here's the green put it over the blue fold the blue over like that fold the green up like this right then put the green that's underneath on one peg and the green that's on top over two same thing on the bottom. The loop on the bottom goes on one peg and the loop on the top goes over two. See, there you have your pulley system. You can make the color go in whatever order you want. Maybe I'll do one more. Maybe I'll do one more for you guys. <clears throat> this last one here. This is leaf and powder blue. Leaf is on the top, powder blue is on the bottom. Fold the powder blue over like that. Fold the leaf up like this. Put the leaf on one peg, the under guy, and the over guy goes on two. The under powder blue goes on one peg. Whoops. What did I do? <laughs> That's okay. And then the outer guy goes on too. So, and same thing, here's the pulley, like that. That's how you work it. That's how you set this up. Um, very cool, very cool, very cool. The rest of it is plain old regular weave. I'm gonna start here on the bottom, under over, whole loops. This is a fun, fun technique. I encourage you guys to try it. I think kids would love this, playing around with this. 
and the young at heart and people who are extremely artistic. Color splash. Next row is gonna be over under the opposite of what I just did. just found this small knitting needle at the thrift store, so I'm pretty excited because it's a good fit for the traditional loom. I like to weave with knitting needles. <laughs> I don't know anything about knitting, so I didn't know there were such things as, you know, I don't know anything about knitting needles. So I saw this in the thrift store and I thought, wow, that's pretty good. So now I have a knitting needle that's a good size for my traditional loom instead of using my huge knitting needle, which is not a crime, but this is just way so much easier. Pack, 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 pack. Opposite, so this was over under, we're gonna go, excuse me, this was under over. So we're gonna go over under. You guys have traditional looms, you should try it. Uh, it you, can, you can do it on a, on a pro loom too, but um, obviously a traditional loom would, will go quicker. Um, I'm not telling you you shouldn't do it on the, on the larger one because <laughs> it'll be, uh, you can put a lot more colors on it. But this works up uh, fairly quickly. A simple weave <clears throat> and fun, fun to play around with the colors. I'm just doing the opposite of what I did before. We're going over and under full loops. That's it. Nothing exciting, nothing exotic. The, the exotic thing about this weave is the pulley system on the warp, the clasp pulley system. That's the hardest part of the whole thing right there, pretty much. You have to be a little bit care careful when you bind off, but not that big of a crisis. it. Keep doing the opposite. I mean, <coughs> this was fun for me to do. I, I think it's fun for anybody to do, but I can see kids really going nuts with this. And the young at heart. And as I said, people who are very creative. I just don't, can't imagine what you all could do with this. So many possibilities.
to be over too, that's the situation. There we go. Straighten out your rows, people, right? Where's my tool? I tell you people to get one of these things. You can use your nails, but sometimes it's good to use this thing. I got it at Walmart by the crochet hooks, and you can get it on Amazon. It's either a weaving tool or a loom tool, and it's under $5. And it helps you straighten out your rows. Nicely, get in those crevices. And like I tell you, you know, you straighten out your rows and then you go back and then they've moved again. <laughs> so just do the best you can. reason we do this is so things look neat but also so that we have room at the end for the last rows that we're going to be putting on here. You do have to be careful with this tool not to rip your loops so when you, when you go in these corners just kind of poke in the corner and try not to grab your loop so you don't shred it. Guy. Okay. Oops. This is kind of like a painting in a way. Packing them down. Opposite.
Oops. This guy wants to jump off. Switch over to my safety pin, getting a little tight. Sometimes these things twist. When I use the safety pin, you can also use a hair clip if you want.
pack, pack, pack. Well, that goes way up. I think you guys get the idea. The main thing is the pulley system. That's the main reason I jumped on here to show you just the pulley system so you can play around with this. Because it's pretty cool. Miss that guy. There we go. Two. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wrong peg. Just move it. I'm like, where's my peg? <laughs> okay. All right. More packing. If you have a nail, you can get in there and pack these things down. Now to cast off, I'm going to lift the outer guy up, the guy that's on two pegs. The guy on one peg, I'm gonna move over here. And I'm gonna put this guy over there. Then I'm gonna grab this guy, lift this guy up, pull this guy under. And I'm gonna put this guy right back on there is an anchor loop. Now the rest of the way across, what I'm going to do is, let's see here. Let's see here, maybe I'll grab the outer and then the inner. Just decide, the outer and then the inner. You can move them all back onto individual pegs if you want, but outer two pegs, inner peg. Outer two inner. Just come up with a system that you like. But just be consistent, that's all. The outer two. Inner guy. <laughs> well, now I'm stuck. There we go. Outer guy inner guy, outer guy, inner guy, two peg guy, one peg guy, two peg guy, put this guy back on as an anchor, one of these guys. All right, when you go around to the white, you don't have that problem because they're all just the same. All right, right.
All right, now you get over here. Let's see here. I guess we'll do the same thing. Outer one first, inner one second. Whatever order you want to do it in, just pick your order. Oh, guy wants to come with his friend. These guys are straightforward. They're just all the same. I'm going to use my first anchor loop for my ring. So this is my first anchor loop right here. I'm gonna lift it off, pull it through, take the rest of these guys off. Pull these guys back through. Gosh, that one did take too much. Sometimes you have to yank this temporarily to get a ring on. So if you have to do that, don't be worried. Over like a hula hoop, then spread the loop around like a shawl around your shoulders. Then unclench the clench you just did. <laughs> uh, stretch it out. Clip your threads. Ongoing thread situation. And there you have it. I hope you guys try it. Look how cool is this yellow, but then hydrangea, then longer yellow. Little short turquoise, long green. Very cool. I hope you guys try it. Have a great day.